Today I am here to talk about how to start a budget. So since the beginning of 2020, I have made it a point to really talk about budgeting and money and paying off debt a lot more than I have in previous years. So it has become a major part of my content and it is something that I'm truly passionate about. I have shared my money story with you. If you've not seen my money story, I'm going to leave that in a card above I break down everything I take you back to 2006 when I graduated college and I take you through mine and my husband's money situation from 2006 to today so I'll talk about everything from debt how we didn't have enough money to purchase groceries and had to charge them on a credit card every single thing i share in that video so definitely check that out in a card above so i have been asked many different times since i started talking about our debt snowball if you've not seen that video where i talk about i'm going to link that in a card where i talk about how my husband and i accumulated a 900 dollars plus debt snowball i will link that in a card above what is a debt snowball a debt snowball is the extra money that you are using to throw at debt. So definitely check that out. I feel like it's very beneficial if you are trying to pay off credit cards and student loans and all of that stuff like we are. So I've been asked so many different times, how do you start a budget? I don't even know how to start a budget. What would you recommend that I do to start a budget? So before I get into any of the budgeting, how we started a budget, let me just say I am not a money expert. I'm not a financial expert. I do not pay to help people get out of debt. I am sharing my experience with you. So I'm sharing our situation what has helped me and my husband what has got us motivated to pay off debt and to get motivated about money and accumulating wealth so I'm not an expert I am opening my heart and I'm opening my soul and sharing our experience with you in hopes that it will help you number two before I get to it not every budget is the same not everybody budgets in the same way. Not everybody organizes money and finances in the same way. So my video today is not something that you need to run with if it's not for you. So you need to make sure that you tailor your budget and your money organization to fit you and your family. Not every family is the same. So what I'm sharing today is my experience and my family's experience with budgeting and where we started. Because two years ago, we were exactly like some of you that didn't know what to do. So I am sharing with you how my husband and I sat down and we decided, what is a budget? How do we tackle a budget? So just note i'm not an expert and this may not be the plan for you but i'm just sharing my experience and what has worked for us any questions that you have leave those in the comments and i'll do another video i can tell you on my money story video i went through all of the comments and i wrote all of them down and some of them were so great that i created a budgeting video just off of that one question so leave it in the comments i read every single one of them which is another reason why i have to approve your comments because i like to read through them so if i have to approve them i have to read through them and I'll jot them down. So definitely share any questions that you might have. So I've got four things written down and they are in order that my husband and I went through. Number one thing is, do you know what bills you pay every month? That is the biggest thing. And you know, I know a lot of people do um, auto draft. Yes, a lot of people do auto draft. Now my husband and I do not do auto draft. So every single bill that is paid, we sit down and we pay them. I like the physical act of having to sit down and acknowledge the bill and pay the bill. So I know some people, oh, I'm sure a large majority of people do auto draft, but we have just chosen not to do that because I like to be present in the moment. I like to physically pay that bill. 
whether it be by mail or online. So it doesn't mean that is the perfect way for you. That just means that's the way for us. But you need to know what bills you pay. If you don't know the bills you pay, make a list. You have to know. You have to know how your money is walking out the door. What company is getting your money? If you have a Target credit card and it's like $2,000 and you're paying $100 every month to that Target card, don't you want to know that you're paying that $100? Where is that $100 that you've worked really hard? Where is it going? You need to know the bills you pay. It is important. Don't be blindsided and like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I had this bill that I pay every single month. And I know a lot of these involve, I've watched some budgeting videos where people did not realize the subscriptions that were coming out of their check every single month. Like app subscriptions. Go through all of those because it may just be a dollar and 99 cents a month. But if you've got 10 of those, that adds up. So you need to know every single thing that comes out of your paycheck. You need to acknowledge it. You need to write it down because you have to figure out where the problem is. If you don't know what bills you pay and where your money is walking to, how can you fix it? So make a list. Now for us, this is where my monthly bill tracker has come into play. I have used this document since 2014, six years. And it may actually be 2012. I'm saying 2014, but I'm actually thinking it's 2012, but we're gonna go with 2014. This is a document that is available in my Etsy shop. And no, I'm not just sitting here trying to push my Etsy purchases on you. I am telling you that this document is something that I've used for at least six plus years. Now, the way I've got my document broken down is into paychecks. My husband and I get paid the 10th and the 25th of every single month. So every bill that we pay gets written either under the 10th or under the 25th. And actually, we had to use two of these principles because on the 10th, we had that many bills. So that right there, when I had to physically write all of those down and print a second sheet, it was like a light bulb. There's a problem here. You have that many bills on a payday that you have to print out two sheets. So make a list. So you don't have to purchase my printable. You can do exactly what I have done with this printable on a piece of paper, a scrap piece of paper, on the back of a letter. You don't have to purchase this printable, but just know that it is available if you need it. But you need to know what bills you're paying and how your money is walking out the door. So number two, after you have acknowledged the bills, you need to know how much you're paying for these bills. Now I know some of the bills may be different every month. For instance, your electric bill. But for the bills that are the same every month, you need to know how much you're paying. How much are you paying every single paycheck? How much are you paying every single month on the phone bill? All of those apps. If you're paying monthly subscriptions on all of those apps, you need to know how much you're paying for each one of those and total it up. Total it. You need to know total the amount. I do this every single payday in my budget planner. So I'm gonna leave a link in a card above to my budget planner. I'm gonna give you, y'all, in these videos, I give you the numbers. I'm not gonna just sit out here and talk randomly without giving you the figures. Yes, you're gonna see how much we owe on a credit card. Yes, you are gonna see how much we owed on the truck. It is important. It is. I feel like for me, when I watch these budgeting videos, I'm like, but how much money are they paying? How much money do they have to work with? I'm giving you the numbers. So not only do you need to know what bills you're paying, but also how much are you paying on those bills? And this is something that my husband and I had to do. So before we moved to where we are right now in 2014, our previous job paid us once a month. So when we moved, 
we had to write all of these bills down, make phone calls since we were going from one paycheck a month to two. So instead of getting paid one time, we were getting paid twice, the 10th and the 25th. So we did make it to where we had to call some of these companies to see if we could change the payment date on these accounts. We wanted to make sure that our bills were balanced. We were paying the same amount roughly on the 10th that we were paying on the 25th. So you need to know that if you get paid more than once a month and it's just not working for you on, let's say the 10th paycheck, look at the numbers maybe you need to move and call and see if maybe they'll let you move the phone bill to the next paycheck so you also need to know how much you pay on each one of these bills and round like for us when we're looking at the electric bill you guys even though i've got my system in place i still go in before every payday and i will make a projected list and I will always estimate, I like to round up on the electric bill so we know how much we will have roughly after that paycheck. And the third step in starting a budget is to know how much you get paid. And I know a lot of people have jobs where their income varies and it fluctuates. You know, sometimes let's say you're in real estate. You know, you have peak periods and you have down periods. You need to be able to know how much you get paid so you can adjust for these things. It may be one of those things that you have to do kind of like a sinking fund type thing to where if you get paid way too much in February and you don't, don't get paid nearly as much in June, maybe you save a little bit of that check in February to cushion the June. So you need to know how much you get paid. Write it down. Why is that important? Because you need to know, do you have enough money to pay the bills that you wrote down for step one and number two? So that is the fourth and final step. You need to make sure after you know how much you get paid, is your paycheck more than your bills? You need to make sure that you make more money than you're spending. So if you are making less money than you were spending, this is where you need to evaluate it. You have it all written down on a pay pay. So if you are spending more than you are making, that is a red flag. You need to adjust that. And y'all, we have sat down and we know roughly how much we like to have every paycheck after we pay the bills. And if you've not checked out my zero balance budget video, I will leave that in a card above. We do not do a zero balance budget. I talk about that in that video. Definitely check that out. But after every payday, and this is why y'all, I write things down. I do a projected payment list. I make sure that we have that normal amount that we normally have every paycheck sitting there waiting for groceries, for you know eating out, for all of those gas, unexpected fees. I have all of that accounted for in that money. So I like for there to be that same amount or roughly that same amount after every paycheck and we pay bills. If it's lower than what I was thinking, I will go back and I will check my list. Well, what was more this month that caused our ending amount in our checking account to be less? I go through all of that. I look at it. I compare month to month. That's why the budget planner is so important because it allows me to go all the way back to the beginning of the year to check and see the difference. So everything needs to be written down. So if your bills equal more than your pay, you need to go through. You might have to cut out some things. You may have to cut out some subscriptions. We have even had to cut out direct TV. And I wouldn't say that we had to, but we went through and it was getting to where it kept going up and going up and going up. And it finally went up enough that I was like, enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. By cutting that down, we saved $100 a month. 
So that right there. So we had to go through and evaluate our bills and say, you know what, we don't need this. We can let this go. So, and I also feel like knowing all of this, knowing what bills you're paying, knowing how much money is going to these bills, knowing if your income is more than your bills, it kind of makes you money smart. It gets you motivated. Like, I don't want to see this. If you know the interest that you're paying on your credit card every single month, it's kind of like one of those, ooh, it makes you uncomfortable or it made me uncomfortable. I'm like, nah, -uh, no more. Not doing this anymore. So it made me motivated to see that paper in my face. It got me motivated to let it go. I want to see more money in my checking account after every payday. I don't want to be paying interest on things. I don't want to pay 20% interest on cards. So those are my four beginning steps for starting a budget. Number one, what bills are you paying? Number two, how much are you paying for those bills? Number three, how much is your paycheck? And number four, does your paycheck equal more than your bills? If your paycheck is not more than your bills, you have an issue. You need to sit down and as hard and as uncomfortable and as not happy you might be, you need to adjust it. What can you live without? You can't live without food. You can't live without clothing. You can't live without shelter. All of those things are necessities. Look at your bills. What are you spending money on that's not a necessity? It doesn't mean that you can't come back later on and, you know, bring those subscriptions back in. But you need to get yourself out of the hole. So I'm going to leave all of those four things in the description below in case you want to come back to this video and just read them. I also want you to, just like I said in the beginning, leave any questions that you might have in the comments because I will create a second video. I will create more videos on separate topics, the topics that you want to see. So definitely let me know any money questions, budgeting questions that you might have. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you get started on a budget because that is my goal. I want you to get out of debt. I want you to get on the right track to money, the track that my husband and I are on. It was a rough, two years, but I now feel like I'm motivated to tackle and get all of this consumer debt taken care of. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and we'll continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye, you guys.